Okay, what got me started on this, this is a book about the Beverly family of Virginia. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is all on mother's side yeah, of the family. Yeah, because there's no maintenance in Virginia. But now, this is, that's Tootie, and then it goes to mother, and then it goes all the way back to 1610. See, this guy was born in 1641 and died in 1687. And he is the, he branches out. This whole book is all his relatives. And that's. I'm sure that at least that book is good they did So what I did, now this is Daddy's bird dog pedigree. <laughs> See, that's all I had. But I'm in here, okay? And then I went back on mother's side, 11 generations. Did you it? 11 generations. Did you draw back this here. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. This is some a dog, bird dog. Uh -huh. But I've been drawing since Oh, no, ma'am. I hadn't, I hadn't made one yet. I'm going to. But what I want you to help me with, always this is on daddy's side. And I got, and this is what mother told me down at the store, which was, goes back to Ellen Rivers William, which, all right, and then you had John Bonner Williams married to Kitty Maven. Yeah, that's right. And then there's where I need to kind of pick up. Well, that's what I've got from you. Okay, and then I've got something, I have a will that you're in. Your name is in it. Must be on the box. No, it's uh. Well, no. Let me get you in this one. Then. It's in uh, Robert Mavid. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then, I don't know all of that. I tell you what else I'm doing now. That's a little tape recorder, and it's listening to what we're saying. So if I miss something, I can listen to it again. Is that okay? Have you seen, I assume you've seen this. No, I have here, you're, let me see where you are. I know were. Uncle Bob left me a child, All right. a sister's a scam. All right, here a, you are. you got a one-six interest to my niece, Betty King, mm -hmm. daughter of Dr. Ed King of Lower Peachtree, Alabama. So that was you. That was me. And I, Granny was, sent me were, this. There were five sisters, and he and treated me as my mother. My okay. Can we can we go? We got to Kitty Maybe. All right. Now you. I Whatever you just you tell me and I'll give just, me that piece of paper. Okay. I don't, no. Yeah. This is what I want. All right. Now let's see. These are the ones down here you haven't got up to vote. Now let's see. These are the Maven children. There was Frank and Mary and Jane and Jonathan and Richard and Elizabeth and Kitty. And Kitty, all right. Now that's this Kitty here. That's that Kitty thing. Okay. She was Kitty Maiden and Martha and Mariah and Robert and Nan. Nan. Okay. And they were? The children of? Of Richard Maiden. Yeah. Of Richard Maiden. Okay. And who was Richard Maven's wife? Oh, Emma Maven. It, it tells you here who she was. She was an English. She was Christiana Alexander English. Is this it? Mm -hmm. Christiana Alexander English. You want her mother and father there right here too. Alright. There's there's some there's back when I go into to uh, Richard maybe, here's his last will and testament. Well, that was well, Richard uh, maybe. That was that, He was a, 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 and this is Robert Maybe. 
Uh-huh. But now Richard Maven was the father of Robert Maven. Right. Okay. And Robert Maven was a brother to Kitty Maven? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, brother. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. There he is right here. Mm hmm These are the Maven children. Now, what you want? Who? All right. Richard Maven married uh, Christina Alexandria English. Uh -huh. and they had Kitty Maven. Yeah. Okay. Kitty Maven married John Bonner Williams. That's right. And they had Ellen Rivers Williams. Uh -huh. All right. Do you know any more back this way? Yeah, I know who. Uh, All right. Who Christiana Alexander's father and mother Okay. Were. Who's who were they? The. Uh, she was born in Darlington District, South Carolina. Her father was Jonathan Alexander English. Jonathan Alexander English. She was named Alexander Palmer. Right. Her mother was Mary Clanton Bullard. Oh, that's as far back as we have here. Mm -hmm. Now, Clinton Jupiter has written both Jonathan English and his wife, Will Virginians, who moved to South Carolina after their marriage. Their children, all born in South Carolina, were. Christiana Alexander was the oldest one of them, and she married Dr. Richard Maybe, September the 3rd, 1827. And then these are their children, Sarah, Martha, Elizabeth, Jane, Rachel, Dr. John, Dr. Robert, and Dr. John. Okay, and they married all of these people. Yeah. <laughs> You won't go make your own and get my typewriter and make you a copy of this. I'll get a copy of it or I'll read it back through this. All right, just fix it like this. All right. Okay, now I got a letter from... I bet I left it in the car. From Nell Harper got a letter. Mm -hmm. And told about Richard Mabin, and said he was said that, yeah. Richard Mabin was Neil Harper's grandfather, or great grandfather, because she said she was uh, Alice, Fanny's girl. That's right. She was Fanny's girl. Richard Mabin was her great grandfather. Right, and you're in on the where where what was your maiden name? Be the King. King, right. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not thinking. And where did the Kings come in? My father married Nan Maven, the youngest one of the Maven children. Okay. I see. I'm so ignorant on all Son, this. Son, you got so many kin folks. <laughs> up with them all. Uh -huh. Now, uh, Frank Maybe, none, none of them by the last name of Maybe. Uncle Bob never married, and Uncle Frank and Uncle Jonathan both died in the war between the states. And uh, one of them, I don't know which one it was, left a girl, a little girl, and he was killed before she was born. Her mother died when she was born. Her mother's people took her and raised her till she was about 14 years old. And my mother went out to see her. And she found that Cousin Sally was just used as a servant in the house. And Mom kidnapped her and took her to Grandpa Maven and taught her because she'd never been to school till she caught up with children her age and sent her to school and uh, 
just finished raising her from the time she was about 14. And she was a Maven? She was Sally Maven. And uh, she married John Kamek. You'll find him mentioned in Uncle Bob's will, too. Mm -hmm. And they left three boys. In fact, here's Sally Maven Kamek, yeah. Sally Maven Kamek. Wife of J.N. Kamek, Mobile. And uh, she was your mother's, your grandmother's first cousin. She was Alice's. You know, she was Alice's first cousin. She was Cousin Ellen's first cousin. Cousin, cousin Ellen was, was one of the older ones. Cousin Ellen and Cousin Julia. Otis was older than the Red ones. Now there was one of those that was older than Ellen. Ellen wasn't the oldest one of her Aunt Kitty's cousin. Mamie was the oldest one of them. I'm listening to you now. Uh -huh. I'm I just, just moving. I, I, I haven't thought of these people in so long. It's hard to remember. I'm trying to think who it was. Maybe Mary. Oh, maybe Mary. Anyway, she had a boy named Bonner and a girl named Sally. Lived across the river and couldn't lose it. Raised Bonham. Bonham. All right, now the name Bonner shows up in Williams, John Bonner Williams. Yeah, and this was his grandson that I was trying to think of his last name. His daughter Mamie's. Now, what do you want to know? You don't want all this stuff to so Yeah, tell me I what, do. No. Tell me what you want to know. Well, now, I guess as far as this thing goes, as far as blood kin, You've told me all that you know. Do you know any John Bonner Williams? Do you know? I know he was Uncle John. And he left one son. He left two. One of them never married. And that was Dick Williams. And anybody can tell you about Dick Williams. He's the one that really got all Uncle Bob's uh, property in Monroe County. He was, you find him in there. Uh, Dick, Dick Williams. When Dick, and I, I'm just telling you a little tale now, when okay. Dick and, and uh, Lawrence, each one of them, they were sons of John Bond Williams, your great-great-great-grandfather. When they were 21, he gave each one of them 40 acres of land and a new. When Lawrence died, the older boy, he owned 40 acres of land and a new. When Dick died, he owned half of Monroe County. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Uh, All right. And Dick has a lot of descendants left. There's, there were three boys. Now, his girls didn't have any jurors. His girls never married. But now, all right, let me go back before I get lost. John Bonner Williams had two sons. Two sons. One was named Dick Williams. That was the youngest one. Lawrence was the old one. Lawrence. And Lawrence never married. All right. And then Dick had sons and daughters. Yeah, he, and three of his sons had children. They're still living down there in Monroe County. Okay, but his daughters never married. No, there's one daughter still living. But you, do you remember anything about John Bonner Williams' parents? No, I never knew his parents. He was an old man when Aunt Kitty married him. He had, uh, John Lawrence was not Aunt Kitty's child. He wasn't any kin to him, except through halfway kin. Mm -hmm. he, he, mm -hmm. he was his mother, wasn't Aunt Kitty. But now, John Bonner Williams had a daughter, Ellen Rivers Williams. That was your grandmother, great grandmother. Great grandmother. Uh -huh. Okay. So and Ellen she, was Alice's mother. Alice had two children, right. Fanny and Alice. All right. Wait a minute now. Alice. Wait a minute. Now. I just got. Ellen lost. had two daughters. Ellen had two daughters. Fanny and Alice. All right, Francis. Yeah, Francis Williams and Alice Marshall Williams. All right. She, or Alice Marshall Finch, because she Alice. changed to a Finch, yes. 
Right, well, now, Alice is, is Granny. That's yeah, Daddy's that's right. mother. All right, now, Frances, I never knew her. But she's the mother that wouldn't mention just now, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now. And she got another daughter living up here at New Fall, Louise. Mm-hmm. Connor. Yeah. She married a Connor. All right. Then Ellen Rivers Williams married a Finch. That's right. Jim Finch. Jim, yeah, James Cunningham Finch. Okay. I have to go back in here. Have you read that book Papa wrote? To Kill a Mockingbird? Yes, ma'am. Do you remember the little organ that's mentioned in it? The little, little bit of an organ. Mm -hmm. That was my mother's little organ. It was at Thun Ellen's house when I saw it, and Fanny and Alice both played on it. They were little girls. Hmm. Well, my mother bought it for a log church that she built. Grandpa made it. She wasn't in church in the community. Grandpa Maven gave her an acre of land. That was Nan Maven, my mother. And uh, she planted it in cotton and made a bale of cotton. And she took it to Monroeville and rattled it all and got $500 for it. And she took her $500 and built a little log church. And she called the people to come to church. They got there, they couldn't read. So she bought spelling books, blueback spelling books and taught them to read, and taught them to read the Bible, and she took that little organ in the buggy. It's a little bit of an organ. It would fit in the back of the buggy. And uh, carried that and taught them to sing, lined the songs out for them, and played them, <laughs> and started the uh, church down there in the Piney Woods at Monroe. And I've been to that church before it was torn down. I was just 10 years old at the time. Hmm. I'm not sure, but that some of those children, perhaps some of her sisters were married in that same little church. I'm pretty sure all of them were married. Not all of them, but some of them were, and their grandchildren. But I went to Cousin Nanny Williams' wedding when I was three years old. She married Hickson, Liston Hickson, and one of them. I remember the wedding. Wait a minute, I've got to find. You went to whose wedding? Then? Nanny, Nanny Williams, who married a Hicks, and you won't find her on there. That was, that was uh, one of Aunt Kitty's children. The, her Aunt Kitty's children are not on there. Only one of Aunt Kitty's children you have is Cousin Ellen Finch. It was a bunch of them, and you've got Dick. You haven't got room to put all those children. Oh, I'm going to try and get all that I can. I just don't, I don't know where to start. Uh, I'm really lost. I tell you what so we'll Ellen do. Ellen could give you those heat better than I can because she'd know how they <clears> came. <throat> okay. Why don't we start out with... With, uh... With Kitty Mabin. All right, now, okay. Kitty Mabin married John Bonner married Williams. John Bonner Williams. And that children, the oldest one was Mamie. It was what now? Mamie, M-A-M-I-E, I don't know. M-E-M-I-E. Mamie. Right. And she, I, she, I just can't remember who Mamie married, but I ought to. And the next one was Ellen. The best way I can remember the name sound. Okay. And then there was a, a man and Ellen. Did and Ellen get married? Yeah, that was your great-grandma. Okay, Ellen River, right. Okay. And then after Ellen, there came a... Well, Anyway, there came one named Nan. I don't know just where she came in, but I reckon she came along there, Nan. And there was a... I'm trying to think. Rena. I read her name was really Irene. I called her Rena. And 
I know who she married. She married Dr. Sibley Holmes. And then... Where was Dr. Holmes from? You know I don't know about where him? he came from, but he had a lumber mill down there in that community. And he, his son, Dr. Holmes, is living down... Not Fairhope. Some place down there on the road. Yeah. Little Buddy, we called him. They, lived, they had three children. But now Dr. Holmes married two of those girls. After Lena, Irina died, he married May, the youngest one of Aunt Kitty's children. Married May? Mm-hmm. Her name was Maven. They called her May Holmes. Maven Holmes. But she was M-A-I-B-E-N, mm -hmm. too, huh? She was Maven Williams, and she married Dr. Sibley Holmes. And they didn't have any children. But Irina had three. She had son, sis, and little buddy. <laughs> All right, now, who, wait a minute. Go and back. then there were, between those, there were two more. Okay. Kitty and Lizzie. Kitty. Mm-hmm. Kitty. Yeah. You may have known her. She died after you've been big enough to remember. And Lizzie? Mm-hmm. Lizzie. All right. So, well, now, I'm, I'm just trying. Right, Mabin was the, the youngest of them. Yeah, that was the youngest. And then right. up there somewhere that came along Dick, and I think he was between Kitty and Lizzie. I mean, above Kitty and Lizzie. I think he meant Dick. All right, so, well, then that made eight children. But there was more than that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that's all I can think of. Okay. Oh, that's right. Seven girls and one boy. Those are the ones that got grown. Okay. And we had Mamie was first. And Ellen was second. And Nan and was third. And Rena. Rena. Right. And, and then, then Dick. And Dick. All right. And then and Kitty. And Kitty and Lizzie. And then Mabin was the. She was the last. The last. Now that was a. Uh, her and sisters and her brother. All right. We got one boy and seven girls, right? And now there was another boy that wasn't Aunt Kitty. It was Lawrence. It was Lawrence was older than any. But now she was from, he was from John Williams' Williams. first marriage. Yeah. Okay, and that that takes. Excuse me. And gets one family. Okay, that gets Kitty Mabin's children. Children. Okay. Now tell me about, all right, so John Bonner Williams only had one other child other than the, these the, eight. That's right. Okay, so that takes care of those two. All right, tell me about Dr. Richard Mabin. Now, he was the father of uh, the kitty Mabin you have there. Right. Now, you want me to tell you all I've got here he about He married C. Alexander English. And that's where they got the kitty from, out of her Christine. Ah, uh, so they, okay, I see. All right, and they had what children? Now, they had Frank and Mary. And I can tell you what happened to Mary. Mary was a little girl riding on a wagon and caught off a, a limb of a tree as it went by and the wagon road fell off, fell off and the wagon rolled over her stomach and killed her. Mm. And then they had Jane. Jane, okay. And then they had Jonathan. And then they had Richard. And he didn't live but a, just a short time, about a year. And they had Elizabeth, that's Aunt Lizzie. I bet you could somebody mention Aunt Lizzie. Okay, you called her Aunt Lizzie? Mm -hmm. Aunt Lizzie Poo. All right, now she's in, yeah, she's in one of these. All right, and she married a... 
Charles Poole. Charles Poole. It's P O L E, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Move this. No, that's not right. right. Okay. That, I think that's the way you spell any music pool. Okay. And, and then Kitty. Alright. Was her given name Kitty or was it? Uh, she was named, I feel sure, uh, Christina. But that she was never called anything but Kitty and so she was Kitty. Okay. Because that's why the name, when Cousin Kitty said if she'd known that was her, aunt, her name, Cousin Kitty William, she uh, she called herself that instead of Kitty, but she didn't know it until she was a <laughs> All right, you got Kitty, then Martha. Okay. Aunt Martha was said to be the most beautiful girl in the whole countryside. And Mariah. M-A-R-I-A. Okay. And Robert, that's Uncle Bob. And Nan, that's my mother. Okay. That's all right. All right. Uh, any of these children that you can tell me anything about, just pick one out and, and tell me. Well, you know something about Aunt Kitty's children. I just gave you all those I knew. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, Aunt Ralph left a whole lot of children. They all over everywhere, too. <laughs> Mar uh, Mariah? Mm -hmm. Okay. She married uh, Edgar Crawford. Okay. And she had a raft of children, just like some of the rest of them. I haven't got a Lucy here. There's one of those children they didn't know. I know all I ain't Lucy's children. Kitty and Martha and Rock Elizabeth. Lucy. They left out I ain't Lucy. And Lucy's one of them. Okay, so she's in here somewhere. Yeah, but she ain't in this list that's on here. Mary, Jane, Jonathan, Richard, Elizabeth, Kitty, Martha, Mariah, Robert, and Nan. And they, they, the mother of the one who was writing this has left out her mother. I reckon that's what was in that white place right across there. She was Lucy. She came after Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can tell you about practically all of her children, one of them is still living. All right, now her name was going to be Lucy. Uh, all right, but that her maiden name was English, maybe. right? May, uh, Maven, Lucy Maven. Right, Lucy Maven. And she married? Ben Poison. P-O-D-I-A? P-O-R-T-I-S. All right. And their children were Julia and Mariah, and I may not get them all, you know. That doesn't them. matter. That's okay. Uh, and Zeola, Z-E-O-L-A, and uh, Martha, and... Uh, Lucy, only we call her Cousin Lamb. <laughs> and uh, now there were several little ones that died. You want them to? Mm -hmm. There was a one that died named Mary, and one that died named David. And let's see, now I got to. And I got Martha, didn't I? Yes, ma'am. Martha and Lucy. Read me which I've got there. Julia. Mariah. Mariah. Ziola. Martha. Martha. And Lucy. I, I know more of them than that. Uh, they were similar. Julia. Hey.
and then there was a lady, she's still living. Her name was uh, something else, but that's what she's always been known as, and she's called Lady. Lady? Mm-hmm, L-A-D-Y. Tell me what you can about her. All right. She was the youngest one of the daughters that lived, and uh, she married a Dr. Cunningham when she was pretty well long in years. They had three daughters, and one of them lives in Birmingham, and two of them live in Montgomery, and uh, she lives with one of them, the middle one, and she's very old. She's about, about pretty close to 90. I think she'll be 90 in August. And she has to be in a wheelchair all the time. And she can't walk and she can't see very dimly. But she knows things and they take taking good care of her. And uh, her talking is very hard to understand. She can't, her head shakes like this all the time. But I love Do you know any of these? Now, wait, now. And okay. then there was a there was a, a boy just older than Lady named uh, Solomon Wilder. They called him Jack. Another little boy that died just younger named Lady. All right, there was a Mabin boy that died in here also? Yeah, the youngest child was a uh, Mabin. Maven Potis. <coughs> and Jack has a boy named Maven Potis. And Jack. I have to call him Jack. All right, now wait a minute. I'm trying. Which Jack is this now you're referring to? Uh, this Jack that was Aunt Lucy's son left a son named Maven Potis. Right, now you have and, a, you didn't name a, a, a Jack. I told you he came just before Lady. Okay, so you said Solomon Wilder. Solomon Wilder was They called him Jack? Jack. Okay, That's I see. Exactly when Jack. All right, and he had a son, you say? Yeah, I had a son, and he was named Maven Potis. And he's still living over there. Now. Excuse me, son. I yes, see who that is. With uh, Solomon Wilder, which he called Jack had one son who is still living. Mm -hmm. All right, and his name is Mabin Portis. Mm -hmm. Do you know where he is living or anything about it? It's somewhere between Selma and Peachtree. He has a filling station, but I declare I don't know where it is. Across the river from Hannibal, because he married one of Carl Robinson's daughters. <laughs> but I just don't know where he's living. If you... Okay. I met him at one of the funerals I went to. The poor boy didn't know where he got his name, maybe. Where in, mm. in the world did I get my name, maybe, he said. Okay. All right. Now, that takes care of, of all. Now, maybe uh, Portis, he died, died uh, right? As a baby. He died about a year old. Okay. So, now, so far, I've got ten children out of that family. That would be seven girls. All right. I've got Julia. Ryle, Ziola, Martha, Lucy, Mary, and Lady. Okay. You didn't know Lady's real name, did you? Yeah. Oh. His name was Betty D. But nobody ever called her. That's what she was that's what her mother But it was her. it was what? Benny B E N N I E. Benny D. See her father was B D Potis. Uh -huh. And she was named for her father, Benjamin Darius. I see. All right. Now, ladies' children, you say there are three of them, uh -huh. and one lives in Birmingham, Montgomery, and Montgomery. Uh -huh. Do you know their names? Yeah. Names? The oldest one is named Lady Potis. Lady Potis Cunningham. Oh, Lady Potis. Mm-hmm. Like a mother. All right. Cunningham. All right. She lives in Birmingham. No. She lives in Montgomery. Montgomery. Alright. And the next one is Lucy Taylor. I, I've forgotten who she's married to, but I can look in my address book and see. 
if you want to know who. who no, don't it. don't go to all that much trouble. Mr. Right. Taylor, it's I Barnes, do. I think, though. And the the last one is Jane. I have their addresses in my address book, but I, I write them Christmas cards. <laughs> well, I'll get them from you another time. I'm going to come back because when I get all this and sit down and start putting it together, I'm going to have some questions. But we're going to, you'll enjoy, if I ever get it written down like that, you'd like to look at something like that, wouldn't you? To see who yeah, goes really. where and everything. All right, did Jane have a middle name that you know of? No, not that okay. I know And of. she's married. All three of these uh, girls are married. No, uh, the oldest one is not married. Is not Lady married. Is cunning hands. Okay, she's yeah, not married. but the other two girls are. Uh -huh. Now, one of these, Lucy or Jane, lives in Birmingham. Jane. Jane lives in Birmingham. Jane's married and Lucy's married. Okay, now that takes care of Lucy Mabin and now, Ben Portis. I can tell you some of Aunt Riles, but not. Okay, now we're going down to. Uh, Fletcher was telling me about them the other day in Mobile. Fletcher was tell, just telling me about it in, in the middle of the conversation. Fletcher, I, oh, I'm having such a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've just been to Mobile and I visited some of my kin folks down there that I hadn't seen in a long time. And Fletcher Carter was one of them. Fletcher Carter. She's one of Aunt Rye's grandchildren. You haven't come to Aunt Rye. Okay. Yet. But now we've gone through, we just got through with Lucy. With Lucy. All right, now we go to, to Richard, who died real quickly. And you said, now we go to Elizabeth, or Aunt Lizzie. Aunt Lizzie. Okay, she married Charles Poe. Who? Who? Okay. And they had a raft of children that all died soon. And when one of them got grown and had children, I think that's the only one you need, really need to put out. Okay. And she was the mother of Frank Poole. Okay. She had two, three sons that really got grown. Maybe then like Curtis didn't marry and didn't live, and I just leave them out. She had a, a son named Mabin, though? Yeah. And like her, this was the oldest one of them. Yeah, well, I see you on GUS. He was a Yale graduate and a school teacher. Hmm. And the most brilliant person in the family, I've always been heard, been told. But, uh, All right, but the only one that lived, both of Frank. these died, was Frank Poole. And she lost a lot of babies. It just died. Did uh, did Frank marry? Yeah, he married son Ma. He married Martha Potis. And they left two boys, Frank Jr. and uh, Charles. And Charles married, and he lives over close to Livingston somewhere. And I don't know what he's got for children. Do you know who Charles married? No, I have heard her name. I've never met her, but I don't did, know who she Did was. Frank Jr. get married? No. Not married? He's dead. Okay. All right, that takes it's care of Elizabeth answers. then. So then we go on down to... It's all that young kid. And I ain't Martha didn't have any children. Martha. And Aunt Rye had ten of them. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. And I can't know whether I can tell you all of them. Oh, just whatever you can. Mariah and she married who? Edgar Crawford. Our oldest child was a boy, Henry, I believe. I knew him. Okay. Henry. And he's left descendants at Fairhope, and I don't know who he married or anything about it. And then the next one was Mitty, a girl. 
And that was Fletcher's mother, the girl, the one I went to see in Mobile. It was Mitty? Mitty, M-I-T-T-I-E. And she married, uh, I'll tell you if you, uh, Fletcher. Oh, I don't know it, but I can't think of it. Make something okay. up in a minute. And the next one was Mary. She married Dr. Fonday. Fonday? F-O-N-D-E. They put some kind of little mark over that E to make it Fonday. Okay. And... Uh, where, do you know anything about where these people Fonday was from or anything? No. But I know where some of his children are. <laughs> okay. His oldest <coughs> son lives on Long Island and is a dermatologist up there. He's very famous. That's George Eustis. Now, was he a junior or something? Or did no, he was George Eustis Fonday. George Eustis. And Fletcher said he don't know a thing about his folks. He said he'd been up there 40 years. <laughs> mm. But he has a family of his own. And the okay. next son was Edgar, and he was killed in the uh, Second World War. And he left children at the doctor's there in Mobile educated. He was doctor. They were both doctors, George Eustace and uh, Edgar. Oh, okay. And then there was another son, Billy, who's still living there in Mobile, Billy Fondy, and he's a doctor for the Scott Paper Company. And there was one daughter, Mary, and she married starts with a D though. Anyway, she married. <laughs> And I don't know where she's got the children, but Mary's still living there. Durant, she married. Now, I'm, I'm supposed to know his first name. D-U-R-A-N-T. Mm-hmm, A-N-T. Durant, she married. I can't think of his first name right now, but I'm supposed to know. All right, now that gets Mary's children. Now there's, there's a lot more of those children. Then after Mary, there comes uh, Nan. And she married Roger Bucky. I know who she married. And she, they have the sin of saying no deal. Burkett? B-U-R-K-E-T-T, -T, I think. Your mm -hmm. son of Presbyterian preacher down there. Roger Burkett. And then Nan. Then there was Hattie, and she married Jim Mays and lived at Ruston, Louisiana. Of course, they got descendants out there. And then there was Kate, and she married a Methodist preacher. I think his name was William. And they lived in New York City. And they've got descendants up there. They're, they're college professors. So. Okay. And the next one died. And there were some boys in there. There was George. He was just older than Kate, I believe. Did George get married? Yeah. But I don't know whether he left any children. I don't think he did. He got drowned. And, uh, and another boy, the youngest one of the children that's li that lived, there was a girl that died in there, is Dick Richard. And there was a Robert that died. Robert was sliding down the stairs. I ain't, I ain't where I have a dream to go to store to house. He fell off the banisters and cracked his skull. He got over there. There's a park right in front of the house. He went out in the park. They were trimming trees and a limb fell on and broke his head open and died that day. He was just a young boy. Okay. 
So Robert died as a young boy. What happened to Richard? I, Richard, let's see, I believe Fletcher said he was dead right now. He hadn't been dead but a little while. He's been invalid for a good many years. But he never married? Yes, he did. I don't know who he married, but he left some daughters. He didn't leave any sons. We called him Dick. <laughs> Okay. Any more? That that's all. Well. True. All right. Then we go to Robert's children. He didn't marry. Robert never married. Mm -hmm. The next one was my mother Nan, and she married Doctor Ed King, Doctor Ed King. This is Nan. I didn't realize Maven was that close on your side, but I guess it is, isn't it? It's not very far away. All right, Nan Maven married... Dr. A.D. King. See, she was the youngest of a big family of children. Dr. A.D.? E.D. E. E. Edwin D. Edwin Doc. Edwin? Doc, P.O.C. King. Okay. And they had Dr. Well, they really had three children, but the baby died after Mom did. Mm -hmm. There was uh, Betty, Betty Poole is what they named her, and William Richard. And I got a side of children. <laughs> you don't want all my children. I got too many of them. Yeah, tell me about it. Yes. All right, did, go back, did, sent, did William Richard have any children? Yeah, he had. Two. Two? Mm -hmm. All right. And they were. Both will... living now. All right. And they are. Lucy Maven, married Charles Lockley. And they have eight children. <laughs> I tell you, we got a lot of them. <laughs> All right. And uh, Richard married Sarah Hooks. All right. So Richard was, the, was his second child. Yeah. Right. He was his second child. And he married Sarah Hooks, and they have three boys. And every one of those boys has got children. <laughs> okay. I think. All right. Um. All right. Let's go back up to. Lucy Maven. I can't tell you who all her children are married to, but I can tell you Yeah, but you can them. tell me her children, can't you? Uh-huh. Okay. And there's uh, Charles Jr. All right. And Betty. And Lucy Maven. And Mary Moore. And L.W. And Richard and uh, Barbara Ann. I think that's all of them. How many does that make? Seven. Well, Irene, because uh, Irene died as a few months old. There were eight of them. So Irene died. She was the youngest of all of them. Okay. Do you know where any of these people live now? Just a town or anything? Yeah. Like uh, Charles Jr. lives at Fort Knox. And uh, Betty lives at, where's that lucky place? Marietta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And Lucy Maven lives at uh, so in West Alabama. Not real well. And then Butler. It's north of Butler. <laughs> it's okay. Utah. I think it's Utah. She lives at Utah. Right, do you know who Lucy Maven married? 
uh, Montgomery, somebody Montgomery's last name is Montgomery. She married a Montgomery. I think he's Robert Montgomery. I want to be sure. She lives in Utah. All right. Uh, and Betty married a. <coughs> uh, his last name is H R I S A K A C K. Risick. Bob Risick. Okay. He works for Lockheed. And uh, let's see who's maybe now. Mary Moore mm -hmm. married her. Jacob, I can't think of his name. Jake somebody. Okay. I don't know who the boys married, but they married. Okay. One of them's been divorced last summer. How about Barbara Ann? That's the sweetest little old thing. <laughs> I said, well, one of them I really know very well. Uh, I'd, have to, I'd have to look in my address book and tell, me, tell you who she's married to. Okay. And she, Irene. She lives at Hope Hull. Irene Dye. Hope Hull. H O P E H U W L. So mm -hmm. I write a suburb of Montgomery. I see. Dabra has been teaching. She has two children, and they're gonna build them a house. They've been living in a trailer down on the pond. I've been to see her, and she is such a sweet child. But I can't think of her husband's name. No, all right. And Richard had three children. You said three said? boys: Billy, Dick, and Tom. <laughs> all of them were kings. know anything about these? Dick was named Richard, I assume. He was a junior or something Richard. like that. And uh, Billy was, he was William Fletcher, I believe. William Fletcher. Mm -hmm. okay. Did he get married? Yeah, he married. He married and unmarried, and married and unmarried. And I don't know whether he's married oh, or not. A bunch of times, huh? We <laughs> yeah. just put a big question. In fact, mark, Richard, uh, Billy's one. He is a sweet, lovable boy, but he sure hasn't got any good morals the way he's been living. Mm. He's first one woman and then another. Before he get one divorced, he'd have another one. And I don't like Billy, but I love him. <laughs> how about how about Dick? Dick is fine. I don't know who he married, he grew up that close to Camden, but he's fine. Okay. And he has two nice children. Do you know their names? No, I don't. Do you know where he lives back in Camden? No, he married a girl from Camden. Oh. He lives in Mobile. He, he's the one that got the rest of them to Mobile. He got him a job down yes. there at the shipyard, and then he got him a trailer to live in it, and he and his wife are just fine. Okay. They've got beautiful children. Got a little boy with black hair and blue eyes, and a little girl with white hair and brown eyes. <laughs> They're mm. so pretty. And what would would his real name be? Do you know? What? Dick's name. Richard King. Richard King. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what he had for his middle name, but I'm sure he had one. I was trying to come up with the middle initial. Okay, and Tom. He's Tom Hooks. Right now he's living with his grandmother at Little Peach Street. Don't you tell me you never heard of Little Peach Street. I read it in the will this morning. I promise that's true. I just read it. Alright, now he's living with uh He has a he has a wife, but he married her before she had her divorce from her first husband. Oh goodness. <laughs> And so Dick is the only one of them that I really think <laughs> Okay. Um, who did you say Tom was living with? His grandmother? Yeah. Uh, which, which? It's my brother's widow. She was. She's Mrs. Ted Peck right now. Oh, but it wasn't down through this bloodline. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I'll let that go. You ought to be tired. All right, so we just got through with Nan's children. Mm -hmm. And that's the last one. That's the last one. Now, Lucy, we already did Lucy's, I yeah. hope. 
We did Lucy yeah. and uh, Mariah and mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth. And I just tell you the truth, I think Uncle Jonathan was a mother of Fun Sally Maven, but I won't be, I was father of Fun Sally Maven, but I won't be sure. All right, now I've got to go back in here and find Sally Maven. I don't know where she was. She was on Aunt Kitty's niece, my mother's niece. Aunt Kitty was my mother's sister. Your great grandmother was my mother's sister. See, I'm two generations ahead of you, son. Okay. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, let's see. We just got through going through Dr. Richard Mabin and and uh, Christian Anna Christian English's children, mm -hmm. okay? Now, we did Kitty Mabin's children, okay? We've done all of those children except one of the boys' children, and I think it's Jonathan that was the father of uh, Good Sally, and I don't know who he married. It says here he was, bought, he was killed in the wilderness. Okay, but battle. Jonathan was the father of Cousin Sally. Uh -huh. And they have one boy left. One of them died last week, and uh, my daughter in Mobile sent me the obituary from the paper. They had three boys. Do you know who she married? Yeah, she married John Kamak. You've got him mentioned in that reel, too. Okay, and they had three children. They had three boys. They really had a little girl. She died about ten years old. Her name was Willie. She was the oldest one. Do you remember any of the children's names? I know them all. There was a Maven and Robert and George. And George is still little. You can tell your daddy that, did you? The George came back. is still living in Mobile. Okay. And this is Cousin Sally, who was the daughter of Jonathan. I think that's right. right. Well, Jonathan and Franklin, but I think it was Jonathan. Okay. We'll put a question mark until I can find out for sure. Okay. Now, we're all down through Kitty Williams. Kitty Maven's children. Okay. We've gotten all the children. Mm hmm. All right, now Ellen Rivers Williams. Now that's where we. That's where you and Granny branch off right mm -hmm. there. Right there. So I'd have to. I'll ask Granny about all of that. Mm -hmm. And about the Finches. But Cousin Ellen was such a sweet. Okay, person. let me go through this thing and see if I see any names that we haven't covered. All you, right. You I, just had to come back another time. Oh, yeah, but I, let me get enough to... Are you ready no, for no, me to go? No, you can stay a little longer. Right, give me about five minutes, and then, all I, right. then I'll run. All right, I give and devise... All right, Kitty Mabin Williams. All right, we got that. Mm -hmm. That was this Kitty Mabin Williams. Okay, and Elizabeth Mabin Poo. We've got the last I've got her there. out there. I remember that. Lucy Mabin Portis. 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 I keep, it looks like an A, I and I keep wanting to say that. To like to. All right, of Lower Peachtree. And May, Maria Mabin. Mariah. Mariah Mabin Crawford. All right, I've got her, I think, right? Yeah, you got her. Was the right. sister of um, Robert Mabin. Mm -hmm. You've got that old man right. Where Robert was. Okay, Robert here. You know, it, and you see, my mother was dead, and so Uncle Bob gave me her share. Here's Sally Maven Kamak. That's what you're talking right. about. Just saying. Just saying. Don't say who her father was, though, does it? No, sir. No, no, sir. No, ma'am. To, uh, says 
one sixth interest therein to my niece, Sally Mabin Kamek, wife of J.N. Kamek of Mobile. See, Cousin Sally and, and I were sons. both nieces of Uncle Bob. And then to my niece, Betty King, daughter of Dr. Ed King of Lower Peachtree. Now, he wanted to adopt me, but I, I didn't want to be adopted. I was a pretty good child when that came up. Uncle Bob wanted to adopt me. I was about 10 years old. And I told him I had a father. It was a mother I needed. <laughs> This is hard, so hard for me to read. It looks pretty bad. It looks like it is. Very fluent and written, but it's, sometimes it's hard to read. Now, this is witnessed by Finch by up here. See, this is J.C. Finch. is a witness. This is That's Uncle Bob's will. This is Richard Maven, right. Richard Maven is grandpa's. Grandpa's will. Okay. Let me go and sit on all of this and try to put it all together. Now I've got one more generation back here for you. Okay. But I I, uh, I think you've got enough now. I mean, back about Christian Alexander English. She was the daughter of Jonathan Alexander English, and her mother was Mary Carol Bullard. I think you got it on your recorder there. Okay. And she was born on October the 25th. Tells us when she died. And both Jonathan English and his wife were Virginians who moved to South Carolina after their marriage and their children all born in South Carolina were Christiana Alexander that married Richard Maven, and Sarah who married George Clovia, Martha who married Judge Foster, Elizabeth who married some whole, Jane who married Frank Robbins, Rachel who married Francis Marshall, and Jonathan who married Mary Arthur, and Dr. Robert, George P. Elderby, and Jonathan, Martha Kemp. See, they had the same names his grandpa's children are alive. Hmm, mm hmm He named he named his children for his brothers and sisters. Hmm. Now I want to tell you a little thing. I may not get to see you again. I want to tell you this because it's just coming by word of mouth to me. Aunt Lizzie told me that when uh, Grandma went back to England and took her children with her. And Grandpa Maven was educated there. He finished at Oxford University when he was 20 years old. Cousin Kitty Williams did have his diploma, and I think Kitty Sue has it now. You know who Kitty Sue is? If you don't, your daddy do. <laughs> uh, Kitty Sue. Uh, It's just asking like him, I know it's somebody, but my mind just won't call him up. Anyway, I think Kitty has it now, and Kitty gave it to Kitty Sue. That was Grandpa Mabin's diploma from Oxford University. And I had a little card where he applied for admission to the Royal Society of, of Surgeons in London mm -hmm. at the age of 20. I think I gave your daddy one. I have it framed in my room. And, uh, and then he left England and came down to, it wasn't Cuba, Jamaica, I believe it was, where his uncle, his mother's brother, uh, Uncle William Holmes was a doctor down there. Uncle William Holmes was married to Aunt Jane Holmes. Uh, uncle William was thrown from a horse and his neck broken, and Aunt Jane grieved herself to death. Then Grandpa Maybe, Grandpa Richard Maybe, left down there, had nobody, and went to Philadelphia, where some of the English boys were in school. Uh, 
on Frank English, I believe it was up there. Then he went home with them for the Christmas holidays and fell in love with Grandma, Christina, and Mary, and joined the family. Now, that came to me by word of mouth from Aunt Lizzie. But it's interesting. Mm -hmm. To me, it is. This really helps out quite a bit, just what you told me. All right. And I really appreciate it. I'm going to go try and sit down and piece all well, this I'm together. I'm going to ask you about you. Uh, have you got a wife and children? I was married, and uh, I did a, a four-year tour in the Air Force. And I have a little girl that's five years old. And when I came back from overseas, my wife decided she didn't want to stay married, so she divorced me. But that's my little girl. She'll be five the 9th of July. Well, you don't have her, then your wife has. Yes, ma'am. She's in Birmingham. Uh -huh. But she's going to come down. She'll <laughs> she spend, loves kitty cats. <laughs> she'll spend the uh, the month of July with me. Uh, and you didn't marry again? No, ma'am. I haven't married again. Is she married again? No, ma'am. You all might happen to be get back oh, together. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Now, my sister has two children. They live in Tampa, Florida. I met up with Margaret in one of them in a big carriage one time, and she told me that uh, Tudor was going to the university down there and wow. making all A's. Oh, she's an she's honor student. But that's been a good many years ago. She's still going to school, and I mean, she has one degree, and she's going for another one. It sure did hurt your daddy when she married instead of finishing school like well, he wanted to do. Well, yeah, but she's... She made up for it. She's done real well. She married a McCormick. You living with your mother and father? No, ma'am. I've got an apartment in town. But now, Daddy is going to retire from JM Electric on August the 1st. And I'm going to take it and try to run it. I've been working down there about a year and a half. Does he sell fishing rods? No, ma'am. I love see crank over the reel of my fishing rod, and I want to know how I can get another crank. <laughs> mm. I, the rod's all right, except I lost the, cr the crank off of the reel. Mm. I do like to go fishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you got you got a rod, you just need a reel to go on. I got a rod with a reel and the crank off the reel. <laughs> I mm. got another one. But you see, I have so many grandchildren, they come to see me and they want to go fishing. And they want me to fish with them. I had to throw it out for them and let them reel it in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. And you do all kinds of things for grandchildren. What's your little girl's name? Alicia. Alicia. Alicia maybe. Alicia McKinney. She's Alicia Ann McKinney. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see her. Well, she's, I'm going, she's coming down and stay the month of uh, July with me. She going to stay with you or with Margaret? No, she's going to stay with me, hopefully. You have a new experience oh, keeping yeah. a little girl. Well, I managed a little bit. <laughs>